the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, we're off to a little bit of a warm start this morning and also a very cloudy one here as well. Good morning, everybody. A live look outside of Midland facing downtown. And you can kind of see those clouds a little bit if you look a little bit closely. You'll be able to see them a lot better, of course, when we see that sunrise. A lot of clouds into the forecast this afternoon, too. But by tomorrow, we're going to see a lot more sunshine as those clouds pull away. That's going to allow us our, for our temperatures at least to warm up. But we are tracking yet another cold front here uh, as we get into around Friday and that will cool us back down into the 70s and perhaps even the 60s by the weekend. More on that here to come, but I just want to show you a live look of what's going on here across the nation because we have a lot of clouds right now uh, streaming across West Texas. This is all thanks to some moisture coming from the Pacific that is moving across our area right now. But there's really not a whole lot of deep moisture with this because there's really not a whole lot of rain showers nor thunderstorms, but there is a couple of isolated showers well off to our west. They're trying to make it in to West Texas, but I think the air just around us, though, is just too dry for any of those showers or thunderstorms to really ignite here for us. Uh, better chances once again by the weekend, though. Let's take a quick look at that day planner. Cloudy skies just all day long. We may see some clearing, though, as we head to around 8 p.m. today, 68 by noon, and then with a high of about 78 degrees by around 4 p.m. Now, the winds yesterday were pretty calm. We are going to see them pick up, though, as we head into today, so we got some breezy weather out of the south at 15 to 20 miles per hour for most locations, as you can see, across the Permian Basin and in West Texas in general. Now, as we head into tomorrow, the winds change directions. They're coming from the west this time at 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that alone with the winds coming from the west and you combine a lot of sunshine, too, that's really going to help warm up our temperatures pretty good into the afternoon yet again, and it looks like the winds calm down as we head into tomorrow night. So we have an area of high pressure just uh, behind me here, as you can see, across East Texas and along the Louisiana-Texas border there. Now, this high is going to pull away from us through time. The clouds will follow that high as well, so that's why we're still looking pretty cloudy. It's going to allow the clouds to continue to pull, pull overhead, but we are going to be seeing those clouds and the moisture in general off to our east by the time we get to tomorrow. There is evidence of a dry line setting up here. That's why we're seeing so much moisture off to the east and so much dry air here off towards our west here by, to, by around Thursday. Now, here here comes our next feature. This is a cold front. It's a pretty strong one, too. That's going to bring us some cooler air, especially by the time we get to Friday and Saturday. There is a possibility that we could be looking at some showers and some thunderstorms uh, developing associated with this cold front moving through. And we could be looking at the possibility, once again, of seeing a couple of isolated showers and storms as we get into around Saturday. But I think for the most part, it should be remaining well off to our east. We'll keep our eyes on that, though. Tonight, temperatures are generally into the 50s under just a few clouds out there, winds out of the southeast at uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so a lot calmer as we head into this evening. We're in the 50s now. We're going to warm up, though, into the upper 70s. There are some 80s possible along Fort Stockton and Pecos and surrounding areas. Heading into tonight, though, we drop down back into the 50s before warming up yet again here into the 80s across the area. And here's a look at that 10-day forecast. Rather, We are going to be looking very warm tomorrow with a high of 86 degrees and a lot of sun, sunny skies. As we head into Friday, that front is going to drop us down into the 70s with some windy weather conditions, too. And then by the weekend, though, that's when the best rain chances look to be possible as well. Remember to download the Your Basin Weather app, too. It's a great way to stay involved here with our local weather in West Texas. It's free on the Google Play or the Apple App Store.